I'm so excited to dig into this Zen Pop box. Wait, two Zen Pop boxes? So I've been waiting for the Zen Pop box all year. January 1, February 1. Just waiting. Waiting! I usually get them like right before the month starts, so it was very abnormal. But here we are, we finally have the January and the February box, and I could either just open the February box and keep this one all to myself, or I could open them both and show you. And I've elected to do that. So I hope you'll come along with me as we dig into both the uh, January and the February Zen Pop stationery boxes. Let's get right into it. All right, here's the January box. We have the postcard with linking the menu. It must be Year of the Tiger, I'm guessing. Green paper. What does this say? It looks like a ruler. It looks like you could maybe cut yourself on the edge. Oh, it's this side. Must be sharp. You can literally cut paper with this. There's nothing in English, so I'm really just winging it here. So you cut from there downwards. Maybe it's just attached to this for safekeeping, so you don't cut yourself. Ooh, look at this guy. Is that a flying tapir? Oh yeah, it says tapir on it. <laughs> I know what those are because I play Planet Zoo. So we have the color peach. I'm guessing this is a highlighter. And then we have mint. We're gonna have to get paper to like start swatching things. <gasps> oh, it's a little... oh my gosh, look at this papercraft tiger. That's adorable. So these are envelopes for money. I remember reading that in one of the other, the previous Zen Pop boxes, it's a very common gift to give money for New Year's and it's common to receive it in a tiny little envelope. And how cute. I wanna draw him so bad, he's so cute. And they also have stickers to seal your envelope. Oh, here's some paper, maybe we can cut it. Oh wait, this is a book. Size is A6, blank paper. Pen and pencil against the rough textured pages makes writing a pleasure. <laughs> It does have a fun texture. I like the off-white color too. Oh my gosh, look at this eraser. Oh my gosh. Look at the detail. Look at the little flowers. And these usually kind of come apart. Yep. See the little knobs? Like just the amount of detail. <laughs> look at that. So cute. I never want to use these erasers and then sometimes I do end up using them and then I regret it. Ooh. Is this holographic or reflective? It says they're yellow. I feel like they can be blue, yellow, purple. Ooh, I found purple. How cool is that? I, that that's mind boggling. Ooh, there's also a pen. Kind of feels like cardboard. Oh, look at that brush tip. So excited to swatch them everything. Oh, and we have a wonderful little doge. Oh, you like curl it around and you can connect it. Probably have to pull one out. You write your note and then you use this little slit. Am I doing this right? I don't think that's right. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, it's like a pillar. <gasps> Ooh, okay. <gasps> Look at it. Okay, maybe I'm just easily amused, but. Yeah, so I think you're supposed to write your little message and then this is like the way of like closing it up. Ah, how cool. And then finally, my favorite of all Zenpop boxes is always the washi tape. I'm always excited to find out what the washi tape is because they like, they've committed to always including it one, at least one washi tape. I've actually seen it where there were more than one. But look at this gold foil on the like jade green background. Look at her, isn't she beautiful? Ooh, look at it. I love it. Wow, okay. So if this was one box, I'm pretty sure I know what I would be doing. I'd be drawing a cat or I mean the tiger and I'd wanna use this like pillar idea. So I'm gonna like keep that in the back of my brain while we jump into the February box. But this was everything from the January box. And then this, like I haven't even tried this out yet. I need to try this. So basically, if this was your book, you're on a page, right? You bring this guy in and you're like, oh, I want this page to be shorter. So you line him up, then you grab the edge of the page, pull up. All right, it's not the cleanest cut. I'm gonna try it the other way where it's easier to pick up. I do a little better? <laughs> a little bit. It's really not sharp. Like it's sharper than this side because this side's beveled. So that's obviously safer, but like, no, I cannot do a very good line. That was probably my best though. What if I go slow? Hey, okay, that's officially my best. Okay, on that note, why don't we go into the February box? So let's pop in there. Ooh, look at that green. Oh, and he's got all my chocolates for Valentine's. I've been really enjoying how the art's different every month. That must be January. This is February. That's really cute. They're like updating them every month this time. Ooh, is that a glue stick? Ooh, those markers? Is this the chubby? Oh my goodness, look at this washi tape. Wow, 
packaging. This is so cool. Because it's clear you can have that like water and you'll be able to see whatever's underneath of it through the water. That's gotta be like the coolest washi tape I've ever seen. Like look how intricate that is. I am so impressed. Like I said, just the creativity of like these products. Like I don't see these on a day-to-day -day basis, except for in these boxes. This is definitely a glue stick. Ooh, it's square. Does it have blue glue? Ooh, it is blue glue. Blue glue. I imagine it like dries clear. I'll just put a little sump somewhere. Test that theory real quick. That's so schmancy. Woohoo. Here we have an eraser that I feel like I might actually use. And it says, she shared a photo. Simple eraser. <gasps> it's gone. Whoa, it smells. What? That smells like candy. Yeah, look, there's a little strawberry. And I thought it was just another plastic eraser with a cute little art on it. I was wrong. Oh, geez, this, I like the way it's packaged. Sticky roll for study planner. 24 designs in 10 sheets. All right, you're just dying package. I'm sorry, you are cute. Wait, how did it even, how did they do this? Oh, I see. Oh, I ripped it for no reason. There you go. They're perforated at each point. So you can use this square piece. You can use these thinner ones and you get a new square, two thins. That's really cool for like a bullet journal. Just stick that on my new stick. Now these look really nice. These are by Uni. It's water-based ink with no bleed and no smearing. So that's great for bullet journaling. That's plastic. I love the colors. It just looks pretty. Doesn't it look like a little work of art? I think so. I want to swatch things. I we got this. So the colors don't have color names, I don't think. Ooh, they're so tiny. Oh, it's an interesting tip. It's white. It's not what I was expecting. Ooh, nice. I really like how smooth that writes. Now we have some masking stickers that look like little labels and clipboards and notes. It says 80 on there, so maybe there's 80 of them. Oh, they're die cut masking seals. Or mini memos. Ooh, more paper. It's a new notebook. Ooh, this one's lined. Nice. Interesting they're including a lot of books lately. All right, there's another pen. Isn't that a bad word? I uh, don't endorse that. <laughs> I think it's twin ink and it looks like it's gonna write in pink and purple, I'm hoping. And there you can see the nib. It looks very Star Wars-y. Just get a quick little blob down. Twins! That looks cool. So if you held it this way, it would look even different. Ooh, that looks so cool. Definitely saves you time if you're looking for that effect or if you wanted to do some kind of plaid. I can definitely see myself having a lot of fun with that. While I'm here, I'm gonna just watch these other designs. Hope you don't mind that. Ooh, that's a bit more desaturated than I was expecting. See how dark this is? This one's gonna be even lighter. Ooh, this one's more of a gray than I thought it was. It looks more blue on here. We have this brown. I don't know why I'm drawing this shape. <laughs> and then we have this like really light brown. You definitely have some consistent designs. All right, final thing in the box. We have a letter set. It's very simple, but I feel like you could draw on them. This is like very simple paper, but if you notice, they fit into this color scheme. So you could write really cool letters or use these to decorate it. And that looks so cool. All right, so that's everything in the January and the February box. I might just do a little sketching on this page since I've already started. Is there any kind of pencil? I also haven't tried this guy. You can do like fine point or you can do thicker. It's definitely a very dry kind of ink. It's sort of like a traditional Japanese pen, I believe. And like you want that kind of texture. Oh, we also have this pink and the blue. Wow, we could definitely do some fun plaids, especially if I put more effort into it. Then we have this gorgeous washi tape. Oh, and I forgot about this one. I don't know how to use it. Like this is one of those things that's just so cool. I'm scared to use it. And then these guys, like I want to recreate this kind of thing. This is just so cute. Let me grab a pencil. Let me just draw a little tiger with his little ears. And a tail. I do like this paper. It's really fun to draw on. All right, what color should we use? Should we really test the bleed proofness on this? Like I throw a little goat book marker on there. It'll do. Mmm, that's a really fun color. I love the way it pops on the paper. And we need like a light color for the shading the white parts. How's that looking? Definitely bleeds through that. You can't survive an alcohol-based marker. Mm-mm-mm. No, sorry. I don't want to use this for the black, maybe. For all the stripes. It'd give me a decent amount of control, except that I'm terrible with it. <laughs> I wonder if I could layer like this pink. 
Definitely not as cool as uh, Copic Marker, but there you have that. Maybe use the blue for shading, see what that looks like. Kind of creates like a green. Definitely needs a little line for it. Let me just grab a micron, just kind of go around it. Well, here's... I love the little chunky legs. That shape makes me really happy. So there's an idea for a little tiger. That's me trying to copy that one at least. Little white Posca. Try look up a picture of an actual tiger and then try and cartoonify it. That could be really fun. What about even tinier eyeballs? Maybe bigger ears. Oh, now he's gonna start looking like a mouse. <laughs> Yo, wait, okay. He almost looks like a monkey. And use that food pen. So cute. I might like to try and bring it more into my style though. I think that's what's kind of leaving me less enthusiastic. Very cute. All right, I gotta come up with more of a plan here. Or at least grab like a different piece of paper. What if we try and like design our own sort of like that? So we got our little lion, a little more bear-like. <laughs> I feel like cats are a bit wider in the face. I think the rounded ears look more cat-like. Or is that more bear-like? Hmm. Kind of the body coming this way. The tail. After drawing those dogs, I feel like I should be able to draw a cat. That makes sense? Or is that not how that works? Cats are definitely, they hold their flesh in a little different way. But we'll try. We'll try. Wait, what do back legs look like? I am confused. Oh, there we go. That looks right. Then we have a like, I don't know, they have like a pouch that kind of hangs. There we go. Some whiskeys. What if I put the eyes closer together? Or maybe happy eyes. Aww. There we go. Here's my uh, without reference tiger. Throw in a little color. Leave a little room for like the white belly. At least trying. <laughs> I thought about it very last minute. And then I kind of need a pink color that's not that highlighter. And this worked pretty good for all the lines though. I feel like I could even go oranger. Like now that I'm looking at it, it seems a little yellow. I want a little thicker. Ooh, maybe a third one too. I feel like a little extra stripe in there might come in handy. I wonder if I'm doing too many stripes at this point. This feels familiar. I think I've drawn tigers before. Something about that shape feels familiar. And the tail. Ta-da! Probably use this for shading, maybe. Ooh, that makes it a little oranger. Ooh, looks cute. Oh, I'll try using one of these for the line art. Maybe the blue. Honestly, they might not work, but we have that, which would look good as like, I wonder if that would even show up. It could be like just a fun texture, sort of. Ooh, it is showing. It's showing. It kind of picks up the black pen we already have. All right, we'll try something else. Hop to keep thinking, keep thinking. Really proud of that leg, especially where I started from. Definitely has like a, a Hobbs vibe. All right, I'm not crazy about the head. So I'm gonna look up a reference and then I'll try and cartoonify it from there. Or maybe I'll draw a realistic tiger, I don't know. Where's my white Posca? I just wanna kinda do a little something. Like they have so much more white like around the eyes. Like this thing is just so fuzzy. This whole spot's kinda white. I'm just kinda marking down some serious changes I wanna make. I like it better already. Okay, let me try a new face. Cause the face was definitely what I didn't really like. So if I start with like a square maybe, their face kind of like falls downwards, I feel like. So like their eyes will be here, nose here. Like up here's where all their ears are. You can also add like the cat eyes. And then you can have that like slit. Their ears kind of look more like that. <laughs> It looks kind of funny. Definitely this part's kind of separate from the cheeks. And this almost comes up this way. There, like a little tiger face. And then grab this color. And this is kind of like away from the eyes. Kind of like comes down a little bit. Look a little bit under the eye. And then we could probably even go darker than that. Maybe something a little bit orangier. I didn't swatch this. Hopefully it's not a bad idea. Oh, it's not so bad. And like kind of center it and blend that out. Ooh, and that looks fancy. And then the ears are kind of less of a pink. Maybe this. 
Sort of a brown. I'll use that for the nose. Okay, this is actually kind of cute. I might go back to dot eyes though to kind of suit the style of the rest of the sketch. I'm just gonna use all Copic marker, well, alcohol-based marker. Just so I don't have to worry about anything like interacting poorly. Black along the edge, a little bit of white in here. Basically, you're just gonna try to make them look symmetrical and some little like thinner ones. There's a lot of black around the mouth I'm seeing too. And like little dots. And I think I'll use a line art for the eyeballs. <laughs> Looks a little shocked. Oh crap, those lines make it look like that's the eye. Oh no! Maybe more lines? More lines? Still kind of looks like eyes. <laughs> it's a little fuzziness. <laughs> okay, so I kind of messed up the eyes at the last second, but I think it still makes sense to me. And I quite like the idea of it. I feel like it definitely captures that like tiger essence. Well, it captures whatever this one was missing, but I don't know if it captures like the cute that I really want out of it. What if I like do this to these eyes? It's a little less creepy at least. I'd love to add even more of this orange. That actually would have been fine if it was like down here. Maybe I'll just throw a little in there. A little blendy. A little blendy. I wonder if there's a way for me to like simplify how I do this. Mm. We'll pause. Mm -hmm. Look, draw power. Claw, claw, claw. Mmm. This one's face. How can I like simplify this in any sort of capacity? Like cartoonify it. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, I like that. It's more like a bean shape for the head. And, like, and then we can include like the flowers. The leaf. I'll grab another one of these. This is the kind of paper I'm trying to get rid of, so totally fine. I just blow through a little bit of this. I feel like Tiger's like really long, you know? So try and think of it as being something cute, you know? Something fun to draw. Do I want like cat eyes? Ooh, mm, I have the potential. Err, I need like a good reference. I am definitely winging it. I've looked at a couple different pictures, but like, can't really see anything in the references. Ah, sorry, <laughs> I'm all asleep. I wanna draw those like huge paws. Um, I'm not so sure about this either. Ay, ay, ay. Like it's got the right shape. It's just not all in the right spot. I'm definitely struggling between the like realistic and cartoony and like what elements I want to include and what parts I want to exaggerate. I think I want to go more simple cutesy like that, but include more elements like this. I'm not entirely sure how we would do that. Maybe just shrinking their body. I'm gonna just pretend it's a person with ears. How would I go about that? I really want to draw like little legs like that's how my dog always sits. No, I did not leave room for the body though. And the nose would be like here. The big poofy bits. I want really big feet so that I can get that shape. Divide that into like four and then you get a little claws. Two, three, four. And then round them off. Or put the body though. Maybe it's like turned a little, which would mean the butt's kind of higher up. They actually just find pictures of cats. There seems to be more to go from there. Ooh, what if I like turn the body this way? Booty back there. Eh? Did I just cheat my way to victory? Maybe. I feel like I could play around with this like shape here better. I don't know if a cat can actually do this pose, but it might be good enough just for a little sketch -a I want to add the color. So we're going to do it. But it's kind of like concentrated on the outside edges. Face as well. All right, then I want the darker orange. It's gonna bring it into a lot of these places. It's gonna create some variation. And blend that out with the lighter. For the nose, maybe a little shading here and there. Hmm, that actually looks kind of cool with the not black stripes. Maybe grab a white color. All right, let's go in with the black. I'm gonna use that pen that came with the Zen Pop. Start adding in stripes. I go around wherever they kind of look nice. I can really go anywhere. I think every tiger's a little different. And here, they're kind of like thinner. I love how much fun, like you can go from a thin to a thick line in such a short amount of time. 
the tail. Put that in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then I just need a little line art. Need those little dots. There we go. <gasps> There's my little. T oh, I love him! Oh, see, a little shading wouldn't hurt. Let me try adding a little purple. A little roundness to like the tail. Deepen up the center of the face a little. Yeah, I think a little Posca might be useful. Refine that a little bit. Wow, I'm really happy with this little guy. I might cut him out and put him in my sketchbook. What if I take a little bit of green and just go around the eye? Bring a little green in there. What do we think? What do we think? I don't think I'm really appreciating the rest of the box because I just kind of went on a little uh, tiger detour. <laughs> I just want to draw more tigers. Maybe if I find some other things to include. Ooh, okay. I got an idea. I'm just going to, I'm not going to tell you any secrets. I'm just going to draw it. See if you figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> Do you see his little clipboard? My little tiger. Also, I need to resketch the face. I feel like I could do better. This seems like I'm heading in the right direction. I'm including these two together and like all these books. We got all these books. Like it's very productivity based, you know? Look, he's getting the job done. Let's add a little color. We gotta keep in mind all the different shapes we want and like where we want white space to be too. He's so cute. I can't get over him. I'm a happy, happy person over here. Might as well go for the full gradient. End of this. And the arms. Like the arms are kind of difficult. I just have to kind of wing it there. Just make up something. All right, now I need a little liner. A pencil in his hand. I'm gonna shut the liner on the tail. And voila! <laughs> Should I add a little of that purple shading maybe? Maybe a tongue. Yeah, it needs a little shading under this to give it some depth. All right, you see my idea? He's a little business tiger. I feel like he needs a little tie though. Cause usually when I draw my little standing up animals, they have like a shirt. Well, actually they're always in a sweatshirt. So he should be in a sweatshirt. What's silly though, is that's gonna be covering up all those beautiful stripes. Although it might make him faster to draw. We'll see, give him a sweatshirt. A little oversized. Gotta keep him his clipboard cause he has a job to do. <laughs> little hands. Maybe sit him down so there's room on this page. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting back in the swing of this. Except he has a tail. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so cute. I can't. I can't. I can't! Can't handle it. Color time. Color time. Do a little heart of white around the eyes. Tops of the hands. Tops of the feet. Tail. Kind of shortened the tail on this guy. Had a little uh, depth to the color. <gasps> you know what I should have done? Blush on the knees. Blush that out. That's cute, that's cute. I have no idea what color the sweatshirt is going to be. Ooh, this green. We need something this color. That's the one. Actually, if I had something slightly lighter, but I don't know if I do. This is the next thing I've got. Ooh, I kind of like that better. It's less saturated. I'm going with olive. Anything else? I could check my ohus. I don't really have any ohu greens out. Let me check. We've got emerald green. That seems like it's going to be kind of bright. Yep, very saturated. How about turquoise ink blue? <gasps> That is so close. We found it in the Ahu. All right, let's fill in the sweatshirt. Little animals in sweatshirts. Anapomorphic animals in sweatshirts. Oh, that is such a good color. I wanna add like those, these things on his feet. I can skip the uh, nails. <laughs> All right, this guy. I feel like I've been doing pretty well without a reference. I feel like it just makes sense to kind of look at what you've got and work with that. Cause like all the shapes are kind of different every time I draw his face and he's like squishing himself too. <laughs> all right, line art next. Oh, I didn't color in the nose. I use the brighter pink. Now the liner. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I didn't draw any of the face stuff really. Um, like these uh, lines or like those lines. And I feel like that really simplifies him in such a cute way. I also changed it to f only four fingers. These little claws, just do little lines. Oh, that kind of works. So like his toes are basically just four squares. It's sort of like a foot shape, like a human foot. 
I can just grab a little gray for this. Not so sure what color to make his clipboard though. Let me try pink layered with the gray. So we'll go with that nose color. Then I'm gonna layer it with that gray. Honestly, the white was my favorite, but we'll go with that. But look how happy he is. I love the colors. Love them. The only thing I'd like to do is somehow incorporate this into him. Like, he, it could go over the sweatshirt. It could be an accent sleeve. I just want to draw a bunch of him. I like the longer legs better than this. I think I was, like, really starting to get a hang of what I wanted. So basically, I just drew a square for where the head would be. And I gave him a face like I would do any sort of human. And then give him the cheekies with the ears. And then he's got a big body. And I gave him more poseable limbs and legs. And then he's got a tail. And that oversized sweatshirt that I always draw them in. What if I put the clipboard on his side like this? Maybe put the other hand in his pocket. I like that one better. I think his head's just lower. Maybe if I just lower the face, it'll make the head look lower. More squished. Yep, that worked. I meant to draw him smaller so I could draw more on here, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna use the light and I'm gonna do that heart. I feel like that worked. So this is like our yellow and then I'm going to use the darker one as blush. Like so where I would naturally put it on a person, you know? So that would be the knees. Blender out. A little blush here on the nose. See, that's fun. And ears. I always add blush to the ears. I finally do that. Okay. Oh, the green. Do that next. Still kind of coloring it in. Like, it's all going to be one color, but I'm coloring it in sections just because, like, I'll still be able to see them. And it kind of helps as sort of another sketch layer for when I go in to add the liner. So I'll be able to see those shapes. And then let's go in with the stripes. Try and make them match that as much as possible. I like that. It's kind of like a simple vibe, but also lots of it. <laughs> and then a little something on the hands. And we need a little line art. And the claws. <laughs> Basically just a bunch of squares. I think I'm gonna open his eyes because he's just too cute there with his eyes open. I oh, didn't color in the nose. I guess the clipboard. make this look more like a document. The nose, the mouth. I totally forgot about this. Ooh, we're basically done. Let's add the shading. Ah! I'm so happy. Oh, I was trying to figure out what to do with this. Let's try, since we can see the pocket, we can definitely do an accent pocket. It's close, it's close. Kind of guessing. Fortunately, this isn't a very clear washi tape, so it makes this very difficult. But I can kind of make it up and just kind of guess. But it does make him look like he's more wealthy. I want to look like he's got money because he works. He works hard for his money. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! I could even kind of go along this edge. I think that does help it look a little bit better. I would do the hood. If I had like a gold pen, oh, I would just like do a little outline edge. What do I have? Do I have anything metallic gold? I must have something. Okay, I've got this guy. Faber Cassell Metallics Heart of Gold. I've got a Uniball Signo, so it's like a gel pen. I have these, but these are watercolor, so they're probably transparent. And uh, yeah, those are my options. I some paper. And... Ooh, is that perfect? It's a little oranger. Yeah, it's a little bit more green, so it's not fully opaque. What about the other one? Ooh, that's more of a desaturated gold, but it's less metallic, I feel like. Well, then the other option is this. I feel like this one. Light gold. Let's kind of just glob that on, let it sit. These might be old. Yeah, spray them all. We don't know which one will come in handy. Just a little doubt. There we go. Oh, I can, I've got zero precision. Oi. But what I probably can do is this gold line that I want to do. Try and make it as opaque as possible. It's definitely got a different kind of shimmer. I think we made some significant progress. If there's something about it I don't 100% like, it's the pattern. I like where it's brought us, but I'm not sure I'm crazy about like actually using the washi tape. I think I'd like it better if I actually drew it in myself. Not that I can with my paintbrush, but the thought's there. Can I draw one more? Maybe a little guy, another sitter. Oh, this one looks even smaller. This is body. What if his one knee's up? What if both his knees are up? Little arms, oversized sweatshirt look. 
The arms feel odd to me. Just bring them up higher. And then this would be a hand. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm a fan. So we're gonna grab... Is this the lighter one? Nope, this is not. So grab the lighter yellow. And I'm going with that heart vibe again. It just reminds me to keep some yellow in there, you know? Then add the blush. It's not something that's very visible, but it's fun. Okay, he doesn't have his clipboard. But that's okay. He's still valuable. Doesn't have to be productive at all hours of the day to have meaning. What am I talking about? <laughs> oh, he's so cute. I get. Oh, I'm at a loss for real words. My vocabulary has just turned to. He's cute. Color in that tail. And then the legs. What do you make the legs look like? A little something on the paws. All right, now we just need a little line art. He's so cute. Okay, something happened with the mouth, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, he's just very happy. So cute. A little shading. I don't want to fix the mouth, though. <gasps> he just looks very squished and it's kind of cute, though. Probably use a little Posca. Oh, I didn't even add liner to his hand. Heart. I'm so happy with him. What do you think? Does he look as happy as he does to me? <laughs> I had so much fun. This is mostly all inspired from the first box, but I had a lot of fun going through both the January and the February Thin Pop box. I hope you <laughs> derived some form of entertainment along the way. I know I did. Thank you guys for watching. I'll have links in the description if you're intrigued by anything you saw in today's video. Hope you all have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!